Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to Dark Souls again. Looks like we're just gonna have to put up, unfortunately, with this atrocious frame rate. Um, I, I just can't get it to go any faster. I, even, I was gonna try and record with Camtasia instead of with uh, Fraps. But Fraps, even at 15 frames per second, is performing way better than Camtasia was. So, I'm uh, getting jacked here. Um, so yeah, apologize for the frame rate. Um, I need to get a, a, a better video card. Uh, somebody asked in the last video, hey, what video card do you have? It is the uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTS uh, 250. That's the one I've got. And um, looking for some replacements. You did say that you might have some suggestions, though, so feel free to leave your suggestions. Um, and my G... I, I'm not sure about my, uh, my CPU. Um, all I know is that it's old, it's a, it's a, it's a quad-core processor with, or it's running at like 2.33 gigahertz or something. Um, I'd like to get a, a six-core processor. But, anyways, enough about my computer and how bad it sucks. Um, you want to come in here and pick this up. Now, one thing about chests in this game that I want to mention now is that uh, some of them are false, some of them are uh, mimics, they're monsters, right? You can tell by the chain. If you look at the chain right here, do you see how it curls backwards in like kind of a smiley face shape? If you see a chest and the chain on the side of it looks like that, that means it's safe to open it. Um, if you see a chain and it's curled, or it's not curled at all, it's just kind of like laying in, a, in kind of a straight line sort of thing across the floor, that means it's a mimic, and that means you'll want to attack it. And don't try to open it, otherwise it'll eat you and kill you. So, anyways, there's some black bombs in there, not necessarily important, but um, they're there for if you want them. This door up here is the one we really want to come to. Now let's get these guys to come at us one at a time. One of them will throw fire bombs, so we want to try and take these guys out one at a time if possible. Get behind them, do backstabs, because backstabs are beastly. Just kill them one at a time. Backstabs. This right here, you might see signs like this uh, if you're in human form. Those are summon signs. They were laid down by other players online, and you can actually summon. If you go next to it, actually, like this, you'll be able to see their character there. And you can touch the summon sign and try to summon them into your game. I don't suggest doing it unless you're about to fight a boss or something, um, because they do have some problems with connection issues and it can take a really long time to get it to work it's just really annoying to have to deal with unless you really have to and you never really have to in the game most of the bosses you can take on by yourself and you can actually summon NPCs in the game too um, which is really helpful and I'll go over that when the time comes but make sure you come up here and kill this guy in this tower otherwise he will rain down arrows upon you and that really sucks take his waistcoat or waist cloth even though we don't need it and uh, let's get some no well, actually I'm gonna save the pyromancy for a little later let's just grab these guys one at a time just get them to come after us this would be a good time to use long-range weapons if you want to do that uh, like a bow and arrow or something okay before we proceed any further now we've killed all those guys come up here and with the uh, residence key that we bought from the merchant before we killed him we can open this door and come through here. Let's read, let's read these messages. Let's see what these guys are talking about. Be wary of liar. Um, I think he's talking about this thing being false, which is not true, as you can see from the uh, the chain. It's actually fine. So that's a bad message, and I will rate it down. Get some gold pine resin. Pine resin um, is. Let's write this down first because that was stupid. Um. Pine resin is like uh, an electric type of element you can put on your sword. Um, I'll show that off in the first boss if you guys want. Well, I'll never know if you guys want to. I'll just have to guess that you do. Okay, so there's two paths here. You can go up to the left. That's the way towards the boss. Um, down to the left, there's a pretty strong enemy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and try to fight him because uh, I feel confident I can beat him. If you're not confident, uh, I wouldn't try it yet. But... Uh, because you might lose all your mana. But watch out for this. 
get up to about this point and these guys are gonna roll a freaking flaming barrel at you, so watch out for that. They don't come after you. Uh, fighting on the stairs generally is pretty tough. It's tough to get behind guys, which is like our main strategy, but if you're careful, you can do it. Anyways, and then that opens the path now up towards the boss. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and try and fight this guy. I'm gonna show you how to how to fight these dudes. First of all, let's get our uh, pyromancy out here. Let's not get too close. Want to make sure we actually hit him. Yes. Okay. Now watch out. Oh shoot. I thought I was going to get a backstab there. Did not work the way I thought. Yeah, he can block a lot of that fire damage. Actually, the uh, the armor he's wearing is very resistant to fire, so you have to try to hit him when he's not blocking, like right now. And if he hits you, it's going to do tons of damage, so you got to be really careful. It's popping Estus. We've almost got him, though. Oh, shoot. That was a bad idea. Let's back up here. Gets Mestis, and he's gonna try attacking. He's gonna fetch him. Gets his dead now. Sweetness. So we get the Black Knight Sword and Titanite Chunk. Uh, Titanite Chunk is what—it's not gonna come into play for a little while, but you use it to upgrade weapons. Uh, and the Black Knight Sword. There's no way we're gonna be able to wield that right now. I think. Uh, let's take a look at its uh, properties. It's a big sword. Uh, let's see. Toggle display. Yeah, you need strength at 20. And dexterity 18, and it's a it's a weapon that um, it uh, scales with strength. So if you're going to be a strength build, that would be one to use. But I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to use this katana here, and I'm going for a uh, dexterity build. So it scales with dexterity, meaning that the sword gets stronger as you build your dexterity. Um, it still has a strength requirement to wield it, but it doesn't actually scale with strength at all. The black knight sword does, however. So. If you're going for a strength build, then go ahead and use that if you want to. Anyways, see what this guy says. Let's try stabbing the back. That's yeah, that's a given. You always want to do that. But for beating that guy, we can come over here and grab this ring, the blue tear stone ring. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. We don't actually have any accessories equipped right now, and it boosts your defense when your HP is low. Since I don't have any any other accessories, I'm just go ahead and put that on. Pretty radical. So what I'm going to do real fast is I'm going to head back to the bonfire, uh, replenish my Estus and my fireballs, and then I'll meet you guys back here once I'm done with that. Alright, we're back. Let's go ahead and head up the uh, staircase here. Now when you get up to here, there's another branching path. You can actually open this with the master key, which is the gift we chose at the beginning. And down at the bottom, there is a freaking amazing set of armor that you get after you kill a really powerful enemy. I don't suggest that you fight him yet. We'll come back for him soon. Just don't fight him now. He's He's got really, 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 really good armor. So we'll fight him later. And we will kick his butt. Like, we will F him straight. Yeah, but uh, anyways, just don't fight him yet. For right now, we're going to come through here and uh, fight this boss instead, because this boss is a lot easier to fight. So you have to go about halfway here along the bridge. And then pretty soon, oh, I forgot to do something first, but that's alright. I was supposed to take those guys out up there first. It would have made my job a little easier, but hey, let's challenge ourselves a little bit. So the Tower Steven's going to come after you. These guys will be shooting you like crazy. But who cares about them? Just jump off and yeah, get him. Uh, like I said in the first episode, good idea to um, just spam that uh, attack button. Oh, they came after me. Wow, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Okay. Let's roll back from him and pop an Estus. He killed his own guy, so that's cool. Roll underneath him. Get a couple attacks off. Rebuild your stamina. Oh, that's another thing to keep in mind, too, is that uh, if your stamina's low when you get attacked, um, it takes the same amount of stamina to block no matter what. So see how it took all of my stamina and then a little bit of my health? So 
you have to, if you have even less than full stamina and he attacks you, it'll take... It's hard to explain why I'm fighting the guy, but it's going to take more damage. You're, you will take more damage the less stamina you have when you block. The great thing about this guy is that if you stand like right here underneath him, he can't really hit you. Um, just be careful of that attack right there. Make sure you get your uh, your shield out when he does that. But if you're right underneath him like that, a lot of his attacks will actually miss you. Uh, not that one. Okay, so we need to uh, let stamina rebuild and back up. Back up. Stay patient. Eventually, you will be able to get something off. Eventually, something will open. Let's go ahead and pop the SS now. There we go. This one will miss. And we'll probably take him out right now. There you have it. So that wasn't the prettiest example of how to fight that guy, but uh, you know we got the job done. I should what you should do is go up to the um, to the top and kill these archers first. They didn't end up to being too much of a problem, but would have been nice to not have to worry about them at all. Anyways, that's how you kill the Taurus demon. Oh, I'll show you one more thing before we stop. I'll show you uh, how to get a shortcut back to the. Uh, back to the bonfire so that you don't have to go through all those guys over and over and over again to get here. Let's read with some of these. What do they say? I did it. Yay. Good job, bro. And good job for you, too. What's this guy say? Treasure ahead. He's actually right. Get a soul of whatever that was. It's a soul item. Alright, down the stairs. No, did I rate that up? Hold on. I don't think I rate his I don't think I rated his message up. Yes I did. Okay, good. Alright. You come down to this point. And uh, there's an NPC over here, but I'll talk to him next time. First thing I'm gonna do is run as fast as I freaking can. I'll probably get burned. The dragon's gonna come and try and burn everyone. If you turn jeez! Oh, Turn and go down these stairs. Luckily, it won't kill you one hit. So, come, come down the stairs here to the left. And uh, right where this nifty little message is, try kicking. Rate that up because you kicked the ladder. I don't want to read the message anymore, thank you. Climb down. Oh, by the way, if you hold the O button or the B button on the Xbox controller, you'll slide down really fast on these ladders. And we're back to the bonfire. Hooray, let's uh, repair our equipment. All of our equipment needs some repairing. And let's do some leveling up. What do we want to level up? Well, I want to level up endurance as far as possible. One other thing I want to talk about before I stop the video, because this is really going to be the end. Um, once you level an attribute up to about level 40, don't continue leveling up any higher than 40. The reason why is because, as you can see, right here, required souls, every time you purchase, you use souls to purchase um, an upgrade in one of your attributes, the required number of souls for the next upgrade increases every time. So it gets more and more expensive every single time you increase your attributes. So it becomes, as you can imagine, pretty expensive down the line. So you want to make sure that you're putting those souls into the the largest gains um, and after level 40 uh, the gains that you that you receive in leveling up become very minimal um, after level 40 you don't gain much from leveling something up so I'm gonna get my endurance up to level 40 I'm just gonna go straight to level 40 and then I'm not gonna touch it ever again for a long time anyway um, but the reason I want to do that is twofold. Endurance is great because it increases your equip load, which will make you faster. Um, if you are at 25%, if your armor, at the stuff you're wearing, it only equals 25% of your full equip load, then you'll be as fast as you could be in the game. And that's what I'm gunning for. I'm trying to be as fast as possible. So I want my equip load to be really high. Um, at 50% of your equip load, you're at medium speed, and anything above 50%, you move really slowly. So, 
at all times I need to have at least I can't be any higher than 50% of my equip load, and I want to get that down to 25%. There's a ring you can get later that can help with that. Um, we're not quite there yet, but for now, I gotta stay at least at that 50% mark so that I can move, you know, relatively well. Um, so it increases your equip load and your stamina goes up. So let's go ahead and look at our stamina bar. As you can see, the stamina bar is almost as long as the health bar now. So, anyways, um,. That's how you beat that first boss, the Taurus Demon. Uh, next time we will go over the... I don't know what I'm going to go over yet. i got to think about it. If you guys want me to go over something specific, if you have questions that, you know, maybe something I haven't gone over so far, let me know. And uh, we'll figure it out when we get there. Thanks for watching. Peace!